Hey guys, Flutters, and my goodness, you guys really wanted me to do this story. So, before we get started with all this, I am doing a collab with Crybaby Nightmares. So, she did the sketch, and here's me doing the line art and the coloring. So, thank you so much for reaching out to me. Um, I'm sorry this took so long, but it was super fun to do. So, let's talk about this interesting person. To give a little background, my sophomore year of high school, I was in art class with a few of my friends that sat at the same table as me, and it was the beginning of the year when we were introduced to, let's call her Mrs. Helen. Helen sounds like a mean teacher name. So, Mrs. Helen, at the beginning of the year, showed us some of her paintings, and actually, they were really good, so of course, me and my friends were like, oh my gosh, like she's gonna be a great art teacher. But boy, were we wrong! <laughs> so each of us were given this plain black sketchbook to do all of our drawings in. Our first actual drawing assignment she had us to do was to see how good we can copy this drawing right here. I mean, at the beginning of the year, I didn't really know what to expect, so I didn't mind copying the drawing. It was kind of odd since I thought she would want to see all of our like personal drawing skills, but I didn't really think much of it at the time. Also, the reason why I said our first actual drawing assignment was because if you go to the very first page of the sketchbook, it's literally just a glued in piece of paper learning about the word identity. So, <laughs> As the year went on, I started noticing a pattern in what we were putting into our sketchbooks. Were they all drawings, you may ask? Were they doodles? They were more papers. We had to do an assignment where we make a table on a Google Doc and inside those tables, we had to put pictures with labels, I mind you, with labels, that describe us and who we are as a person. You know how many pictures we had to describe ourselves with? Five? Eight? Twenty? Sixty photos. About halfway through, I could not think of more things to describe me. I was at a loss. So, I was so desperate to get to sixty, I ended up putting the word ocean on there twice. Then after we did that, we had to print them out and glue them into our sketchbooks, which was not fun. So now it's about halfway through my sophomore year of high school. I've been in this art class for a while now, right? And I'm going literally insane. Literally all that we've done in our sketchbooks is either glue some kind of paper in <laughs> or draw some photo that she gave us from the internet. Basically, there's nothing like creative about any of this. Now, side note, I don't really think Mrs. Helen is necessarily a bad person, but I can say that she was a bad art teacher. As a person, she was very quiet and she was really nice, but she just, just I don't know, she just, I did not like her at all. <laughs> the other kids in the class didn't complain that much because they weren't actually artists. They just took the class so they wouldn't have to take band. And the people that were artists were more of like beginners, so this was like their first year in art class. Now at this time, she already knew that we didn't vibe in her class. It got so bad that whenever we would call her over to check if our drawings were okay, she just stopped critiquing our work and was just like, yeah, it looks good. I didn't really, I didn't really mind that much, I just thought it was kind of funny. Cause I mean, we were never upfront saying, I hate this class, you're a horrible art teacher, this, that. She just knew that we didn't like her class. She eventually just stopped talking to me and my friends at the table, and whenever we would ask questions, you could tell that she was annoyed, even if they were just like, oh, like, is this, this look okay? Or, you know, just questions about literally anything. So also, at the beginning of the year, she asked us to pick songs to add to the class playlist. And, you know, every class had a different playlist, so which seemed like a good idea, right? Well, it would have been if those songs weren't repeated every single day. After we picked the songs, there was no other songs that were added the whole year. So whatever was on the playlist just stayed. And so almost every single song repeated every single day. And some of those songs probably shouldn't have been repeated more than once. One of the people at my table put the song Smellerines by 21 Pilots and she thought the line for you said the F word so she ended up taking the song off even though it didn't say that at all. She was a very interesting person. I could go on forever about how I just, I did not like her class and she didn't like 
any of my friends either or me so the reason why i was so picky in her class was because the year before i had taken another art class and in that art class i had so much more creativity i could put into my drawings and it was a lot better than here draw this and i'll grade you a lot of the assignments that we were given in this art class was more of like draw this in this person's art style and it was really annoying <laughs> so i'm hoping you guys can understand from me and my friend's point of view on why exactly we did not like her class and because i know there's going to be comments like oh well you should just been nicer or you you know should have talked to her about it but seriously guys as an artist myself coming from an art class that you could basically do anything in going to a class that it was draw this and only this it was not fun so i hope you guys can you know see from my perspective so that should wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if i should do more story time videos i definitely have a lot more to talk about than giving people advice and me personally i don't think i really should be giving advice because i'm like 17 and i you know i'm not even out of high school yet so <laughs> yeah i probably won't do any more videos like oh you should be doing this or like how to make an oc because i don't feel like i should be telling people what to do because i still get like comments being like well my oc is this is this, this and i'm like oh i shouldn't have made that video so <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna do more story time videos because you guys seem to like them and they're a lot more fun for me because I don't have to be aware of every single comment that's gonna be like, well, actually, you're wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys know this video. Thank you so much, Cry Baby Nightmares, for collabing with me. Um, yeah, so if anyone wants to do a collab, I'm down. It might take a while, but I mean, I'm down for it. <laughs> So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, love you.